Opioids are highly addictive substances. This class of drugs includes synthetic and semi-synthetic versions and naturally occurring compounds derived from the milky latex extracted from poppy plants. Opioids have led to a significant nationwide overdose epidemic, prompting numerous studies and films to highlight its impact. Amid that epidemic, more than 560,000 people have died from opioid addiction, according to the latest estimates from the Health Resources and Services Administration. Humans have been using this bitter milk to inspire euphoria and relieve pain since the Neolithic age. Through trade, cultivation, and war, opium consumption slowly shifted from being applied to the skin or ingested to being smoked, which made its effects more intense and increased the likelihood of addiction. The problem with opium was its unpredictable potency, making it hard for doctors and users to determine the right dose. Scientists started to study the poppy plant, hoping to isolate its chemical components for more reliable medications. This led to the discovery of morphine, a naturally occurring alkaloid in opium. However, it was later discovered that injecting morphine made it more potent, fast-acting, and addictive than anything that came before it. Morphine's popularity caused a rise in morbid cravings, which we now call addiction. Public outcry over these cravings pushed scientists to find non-addictive painkillers, resulting in the creation of heroin. Initially, heroin was marketed as a non-addictive cough suppressant, but users quickly realized they needed higher doses to avoid withdrawal symptoms. So with morphine and heroin out the door, the search for a non-addictive opioid continued, birthing other derivatives, even as calls for greater regulation pushed buyers into illicit markets. Increased oversight and control limited opioid distribution through medical channels until OxyContin's 1996 debut. This is where Purdue Pharmaceutical's wonder drug enters the picture. OxyContin was marketed as a non-addictive pain management alternative to opioids, but this claim didn't hold up and addiction rates and fatal overdoses soared. Opioids' pain-relieving and pleasure-inducing properties are made possible by the body's naturally occurring opioid system, which influences our emotions, stress responses, and naturally occurring pain management, among other conditions and processes. So why are opioids so addictive? It all comes down to the body's natural opioid system, which influences our emotions, stress, and perception of pain. External opioids like morphine can bind to the same receptors as internal naturally occurring opioids like endorphins, creating more powerful and long-lasting effects. This might explain why users describe opioids as more intensively pleasurable than any naturally rewarding experience they've ever had. When opioids activate these receptors, they release dopamine, a neurotransmitter related to desire, and reduce the attention-related hormone and neurotransmitter noradrenaline, which helps regulate heart and breathing rates. High doses of opioids can dangerously slow these processes, potentially leading to unconsciousness or death. To compensate, the body increases sensitivity to noradrenaline and reduces the effectiveness of opioid receptors. This new balance means users need to keep taking opioids to feel normal, leading to higher doses to achieve the same effects. If the flow of external opioids dwindles or stops, the body is suddenly too sensitive to and has too much noradrenaline, triggering potentially deadly withdrawal symptoms. But there's hope. Overdose reversal drugs like Narcan work by binding to opioid receptors without activating them, forcibly ejecting opioid molecules from receptors and allowing breathing rates to stabilize. Authorities in the US have increased access to Narcan, now offered for a fee in pharmacies and for free by some organizations, in an attempt to decrease the deadliness of the ongoing epidemic, which was deep in its fourth wave as of early 2024. Understanding this history is crucial as we continue to fight the opioid epidemic and work toward a healthier future. For more breakdowns like this, subscribe to our channel.